Right. In his seventh year from Israel, number 18, Omri Kaspi. Also at fourth inning, six eights in his tenth year of Connecticut, number eight, Rudy Gay. Hey, is that a travel? That's got to be a travel. A few steps to escape. Kaspi floating it in. And now we got a technical on Luke Walton. Marcus Cousins will start the break with another steal. Caspi points off turnovers. Right now, Sacramento, 10 of their 18 are gifts from the Warriors. The Warriors did. Kings ran it relentlessly right back at them. Minus 10 points off turnovers. That and free throws tell the difference. The Warriors are fortunate. The Sacramento missed five of their 11 free throws, and there's another three by Caspi. That's his second one tonight. 46%. Three-point shooter. And Clark for three. Shot it over everything. So the Kings' biggest lead is right now. We've had an 18-point swing in this game. And Caspi, another three. And Luke Walton's got to stop it again. So from up 10 to down 11. And a little unsettled at Oracle. It's the Warriors now shooting 37%. And the world champs are on their heels. Most certainly in this first half. That's, that's a very bad point. Very bad point. It's a three on one, and he can't get Curry's foul. He's got to get out of the way. Uh, uh, Draymond left his feet. Continues that streak of threes made in a game. Second longest in NBA history. That's a determination basket. He just will not allow him to be that bad. And Caspi's got it going tonight. That was a deep one. Caspi's got 17 in the first half. Into Sacramento when he was drafted. Now he's come back second time around strongly. And he's that hot. You, you knew that was going to be good. Absolutely. He was 20 in the first half. Three threes. And somehow the Warriors are within three. And then there's another three by Caspi. So Omri Caspi, 23 and a half. Well, at least it became entertaining in the last two, three minutes. Caspi's got an 18-point quarter, and he shot that from Fremont. He's really learned. I wonder if Caspi's parents still stay up all night in Israel to watch the game. Probably about four in the morning there. There's the reload, and another three! So Omri Caspi. He's doing his best of a Clay Thompson. Goes for 21 in the quarter. He's got seven threes in the game. Steph Curry hadn't scored. King's biggest lead is right now. We've had an 18 point swing in this game. And Caspi, another three. And Luke Walton's got to stop it again. He continues that streak of threes made in a game. Second longest in NBA history. That's a determination basket. He just will not allow him to be that bad. And Caspi's got it going tonight. That was a deep one. Now he's come back second time around strongly. And he's that hot. You, you knew that was going to be good. Absolutely. He's 20 in the first half. Freeze. And somehow the Warriors are within three. And then there's another three. By so if you're the Kings, you got to find Caspi again, don't you? Probably about four in the morning there. There's the reload and another three. In the second half. Since the Cousins ejection, the Kings have yet to score. It's 15 nothing Warrior run. Shot clock at five. Caspi. And reignites that hot first half with his first three in the third. You can Trying to drop the hammer on the Kings, but Caspi will get the free runouts. So Omri Caspi has tied his career high with 31 off a turnover. Who could be in my 10 man rotation? Quincy AC. He plays hard. Yes, he does. And defensively, he's been really good. And Caspi has never been better. Nine threes. A new career high, nine of 12. Oh. Guess who blocked that? Quincy AC. Sending away McAdoo's dunk, and Caspi adds to his career high. 